Some time ago I had made a video on this Harbor Freight Meter. This is a P37772. This is also a rebranded Maztec. It's a model MS9508. It's a 2000 count meter. This meter was purchased from Harbor Freight in 2009. And this is the end of 2015, so this meter is about six years old. I think when I bought this originally it was maybe in the $15 to $20 range. When I purchased this particular meter I bought three of them. I gave two of those meters away. I keep this meter in my trailer. I use it for low voltage work only. You can see where I spilled a little bit of gasoline on it and it etched some of the screen up here. It's been dropped many 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 times. Uh, heat cycled in the trailer obviously. Uh, battery life on this has been great. I think I've replaced it. I couldn't tell you. Maybe twice. You can see how the head here will flip. Here's one of the problems with the meter. If I push right here. The last meter I gave away was actually intermittent under here and I dismantled the display. And this is the same thing that I saw with the other meter, just in a different location. This is the manual that came with it. See it's all in English. My motto was if I'm spending more than $50 on a meter, it's probably going to go to waste. You know, I do do some 24 volts with the motorcycles, but really that's, that's the high side. Again, if I bought a nice meter, it's not going to go out in the garage and I'd seldom use it. Of course, then I end up buying this Bryman. I use this thing all the time, but the difference between these two meters is I'm using this Bryman actually in the lab. So I thought with the meter now being six years old, Let's just run it through some tests and we'll see how this thing fares out. You can see the two zebra strips. It's hard to believe they could sell this for 20 bucks. You can see the spring that's down inside of here. A little ratcheting mechanism. This is all just for the tilt. See the small metal inserts. Again, that's just to compress this onto the two zebra strips. The cost to build this meter must far exceed what they're charging for it. Let me just look at the switch here. Normally the switch is just going to be integrated right into the main circuit board. It's a two gang rotary switch. You can see the two outside contactors that rotate. This center section captivates it. It's kind of interesting here. You can see like this is tinned. It almost looks like that was not on purpose. This is not the original fuse with this meter. I believe it had a glass one. I just threw this one in there. You don't see any mobs on this design. There's a couple of PTCs here and here. These are all M4 diodes. This is a TI part here. ST Micro. This one's by ST. This one's ST. Yeah, so it's not exactly uh, bottom basement parts used on it either. Hmm. Yeah, a lot of expense went into this thing for I don't know why. Hmm. That's just crazy. You can see all the metal inserts in this. If you look at the connectors here, these are all solid. And they're soldered down into the board. I cracked these at one point and gone back and resoldered them. Man, these are just very rugged. <laughs> That's why I typically will buy 
you know real low end meters like this for outside work uh, they don't have a real long life and I really didn't care if you know if they get damaged or whatever you don't have a lot invested into them let's just go ahead and reassemble this meter okay, this is with a single diode two diodes and three diodes in series this is a one ohm resistor here's a 50 ohm 100 ohm this will be a 1k this is a 10k 100k 1 meg and a 10 meg this is a 4.7 nanofarad capacitor this is 100 picofarads this would be 0.15 microfarad again very accurate this is a one millivolt signal coming off of my fluke Again, this is on the 200 millivolt range this is one volt and this is 10 volts more than accurate enough for anything I would ever need from the meter this is roughly a half a volt and this is roughly five volts this with a 60 hertz signal applied as you can see here it reads in the kilohertz ranges so it's off by about 20 hertz this is with 100 hertz applied This is one kilohertz. This is ten kilohertz. You can see it rolls over right there. Okay, the battery's been removed. The meter is currently set to the 700 volt scale. And we're going to apply a single transient. Oh, enough that it uh, opened the case a little bit. <laughs> a little loud, huh? A little loud. That's black, all right.